find it appalling that I have to say this, but time is fragile, and jumping through it on the scale you evidently have is strictly forbidden. For cosmic stability, time is only meant to flow in one direction. The nature of our reality, with all its interwoven systems, depends on that. When jumping backward through time, even picking a single flower, if it's the right flower, could have profound effects. An entire city could be affected. Change the right city and you can change a civilization. Change the right civilization and a planet could be wiped off the map. I get that, but what if you're trying to save a planet? Motives don't matter. The repercussions are too great, which is why even most deities are not allowed to move unfettered through time. Much less mortals. Hold on, deities? Yeah, you heard him right. That one dude's called a destroyer god. <sighs> and maybe destruction is needed here. Call it damage control. What kind of destruction? Wait, you can't punish him for this! I'm the one who invented the machine, not him! But future me, not now me. That makes no difference. What did you just say? Uh, uh, wait, Mr. God, sir, listen to me, please! Uh, but I'm the... Your Mr. God, sir, is over there. Uh, Believe it or not, the kitty cat is a destroyer god. I am merely Lord Beerus's faithful attendant. Seriously? Huh. I thought you were the god and he was the pet. <laughs> I mean, sorry, you're very godly. Lord, please, if you have to judge someone for this, spare my mother and judge me. Hey, go easy on him, Lord Beerus. He's a good fighter. And no one told him it was wrong. <laughs> this is a tough one, my lord. How will you handle it? <sighs> Let me see. Am I feeling destructive today? Yeah. I know. Delight my palate with something I've never tasted, and I'll let you off with the firmest of verbal warnings. Works for me!